Hey tennis fans, I'm Grace Carter and this is Tennis Now presented by Tennis Express. Tennis Express, order today and it ships today. In 2005, Christopher Carey wrote an article in the New York Times entitled, Short Players May Be Losing Their Place in Women's Tennis. In it, Clary points out that the WTA's average height in the top 10 was 5'8 in 1995, 5'9 in 2000, and up to 5'10 in 2005. Fast forward to today, and the average height of the WTA's top 10 hasn't changed much. Today, it's just a shade over 5'10 which has made us wonder, has big babe tennis peaked in recent years? Is there still a place for shorter players in women's tennis and will there always be? We think so, and we hope so because we love to see a diversified talent base across the tour. And to prove that fact, here are the WTA's top five giant killers as it stands today. Number five, Ashley Barty. Camped inside the top 20 and coming in at just 5'5", five, five, is a wonderfully talented Aussie who's been steadily climbing the rankings since she returned to the game in 2016. The 21-year-old reached the Sydney final this season and ranks inside the top 20 in both singles and doubles at the moment. She's a unique talent that can do damage at the net and play with the type of variety that can flummox the most savvy foes. Number four, Sloane Stephens. Did you know that last year's US Open champion comes in at just 5'7"? That's right, American Sloan Stevens is a quintessential giant killer with her quick feet, fluid movement, and explosive speed. But she doesn't play diminutive tennis. Being below average height hasn't kept Stevens from ramping up the power with the best of them. Third on our WTA giant killer list is Daria Gavrilova. One of the most entertaining personalities on tour is also one of the shortest women near the top of the WTA rankings. World number 26, Gavrilova is 5'5", and at just 23 years of age, has a bright future in the game. Does she have what it takes to reach the top 10 someday? We think so. Number two, Daria Kasatkina, a good friend of Gavrilova and ranked just two spots above her, is one of the more promising young players on the tour. She is world number 24, only 20 years old, and at 5'7", she's built an aesthetically pleasing game that relies on control rather than on power. She has one of the most diverse toolboxes in all of women's tennis. Her running, leaping backhands are her trademark, and we must say they are pretty special. And number one, Simona Halep. All the way at the top of the rankings, there is a Romanian who comes in at just a quarter of an inch taller than another legendary giant killer that goes by the name of Justine Ennen. World number two. When Halep climbed to number one in October of 2017, the Romanian became the shortest number one in over a decade when Justine Hennen last held that top spot. Like all giant killers, Halep possesses the fighter gene and pretty good athleticism. She's also one of the most technically sound ball strikers in tennis today. So apparently there is room for all sizes at the top of the WTA rankings. While tall players have the power advantage, they simply can't move like the smaller giant killers can. And the five we mentioned aren't the only ones we have our eyes on. How about 18-year-old Cece Bellis? The 5'7 phenom took out Madison Keys and Karolina Pliskova in Doha this week. Carla Suarez Navarro is 5'4", and we think she would win Roland Garros someday. Lauren Davis, only 5'2", one of the best movers and most entertaining players on tour today. And Yulia Putinseva, all 5'4", of her, has developed a reputation for being one of the most fiery and fabulous players to watch. So what do you think? Who are the best giant killers on the tour and which one is your favorite? Let us know in the comment section below. And as always, thanks for watching Tennis TV, and we'll see you next time.